welcome back to the channel and in today's video is not just this video we're going to talk about things that i wish i knew ahead of time before playing a game because the game comes out tomorrow on the fifth for the majority of people so there's gonna be a lot of new players and i want to help them learn about the game and do things that i should have been doing since the first moment i stepped in the game but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button subscribe all of that fun youtube stuff and then we will get going with the video so let's do that now one of the things that I, it didn't occur to me that it was happening. I knew it was happening, but it didn't occur to me, if that makes sense. Like, it took me a while to realize that it was a thing that was actually helping me and not just a thing that was happening. So whenever you put, like, a quest on your log and you track it, you will be able to follow exactly where you need to go to get to it. Now, a lot of these towns and stuff are very intricate and hard to, like, navigate to get back to, like, where you're supposed to go to, that blue dot. But if you press your sensor and leave it open, you can see that there are white arrows pointing you exactly where you need to go. Now, most of the time when I run around on this game, I have this scanner open in general. When I'm on planets, it helps to survey things and stuff. Um, and then you will have to sometimes turn it off and turn it back on if there's no direct path. Um, and then you can just see, it just shows, it tells you exactly where to go and how to get there. This is something that while I was running around and looking at my scanner, I saw them, but it just didn't click with me what they were. So... You know, it could be a couple of days before you realize that it's actually a very useful thing to have. So I hope that helps. So instead of running back to the starship all the time, you can very easily just go to your star map and pick a place you want to go. So let's just say you want to go over here to this um, science outpost. You can just set the landing target and travel straight to it. You can come out and go to any other planet that you've been to already, like this one over here. You can also come back and go to any other system that you've already been to from where you are. You don't need to run back to your spaceship. It's up to you if you want to for immersion, but you can just travel anywhere using your star map. And to add to that as well, you can travel straight to your mission areas. So if you press the back button or whatever it is on PC, you get your list of uh, missions right here. So let's say I want to do this mission, the empty nest. I can press X on this and set a course straight to it. So I'll go straight to where I'm supposed to go. Um, and that's to get to a main city as well. So you can very easily just fast travel anywhere in this game and not have to think about anything not have to think about running back and all that fun stuff it's just a straight shot to where you need to go and sooner or later you're going to be using this so whenever you fly to a new system or you are in orbit of a brand new planet you can scan this planet obviously i am far away from this planet this is just an example but it says scan unavailable when you are next to the planet it will say scan and the button you need to press and what that does is it opens up and covers all the resources that are on the planet and where they are and there's something very useful with this which i'll show you now so as you can see you get a map like a, a map of locations of where things are going to be let's say so you get like the normal map and stuff but where there's a specific biome for a specific material you want to land in here so you can put your points in here in chlorine when you go down there chlorine will be more apparent if you want water you could do it here if you want argon you could do it here i'm just going to do it with the water section we're going to travel here we're going to go down and we're going to look for some water now it's not guaranteed it's not 100 percent, but it is the biome of that mineral so they are more likely to appear when you land now the landing sequences in this game they create an instance um so every time you drop to a landing target it's a different area even if the landing targets are right next to each other this does not look like a very healthy place i'm sure there'll be water somewhere it's actually an argon biome as well as you can see when i point at the floor so argon and water is what's going to be more apparent here so as you can see not too far away from my ship we already have H2O water. I'm not sure how water is in a like in a rock. I've never seen it like this before. It's always usually a pool of water that you pick up. But now we've got some water. You will find other materials here too. It just gives a chance of the, the biome that you're in. It will give that chance of that appearing more. I wish I could speak properly. So always look for where you're landing if you're looking for specific minerals. Another little tip here, you can scan and look at what's around you. So this building is unknown. If you scan it, it will tell you what it is, a structure. There's some other specific things that will point out to you. So if I do this unknown, it's life signs. So that's going to be like an event with life signs and such things. And anything else around could lead you to caves. It could lead you to a natural occurrence. So you can figure out what the planet's traits are. Um, but also as well, once you visit a place, you can actually fast travel there from wherever you are on the planet so let's say i hit up this structure and i discover it which i'm about to do and i carry on running for 30 minutes in a straight line 
If I turn around after that 30 minutes and aim back at this bionics lab, it will be able to let me fast travel from wherever I am on the planet. Look at this little weird little worm thing. Right, so for instance, because my ship and my landing target are things I've already visited, I can now fast travel straight to them. So let's just say I'm off in this direction over there somewhere looking at the life signs. And then I feel like, oh, I want to go back to my ship. I can just fast travel straight back to my ship like this. It's really that easy. So fast traveling and scanning and stuff is very important when on a planet. And the last thing for this video is your companions. When you're running with a companion, you can dump things onto them for them to be like a storage mule so they can take all of your stuff. You go into them and you go, let's trade gear. And you can put whatever you want on them. So I've got a few weapons here that I didn't want to carry, but I might use um and such things of that nature now you see the little white little triangle in the top left hand corner that means that it's equipped on that person even if when you highlight say the set of the comfort wear and it shows your face this is actually sarah's inventory as you can see in the top left so you can choose their weapons you can choose what they're wearing you can choose all of that stuff and the benefits come with it so this set of the comfort wear will give her plus 10 health and uh, the helmet will allow her to blend in while sneaking and not moving. When she goes into stealth, she actually kind of like vanishes and disappears, which is pretty cool. And the weapons, you can put on whatever you want. I think I might put the shotgun on, but I think you also have to put the ammo on them as well. You can't just expect them to have unlimited ammo. Um, so it's pretty cool, like making sure that your companions are all just like kitted up, ready to go. Um, and that's it. That's that's everything about the companions. And look, she disappears because she's got that chameleon perk which is epic believe me and yeah so those are five things i wish i knew before i started and it took me way too long to figure out what they were and use them and i hope that helped all you new players who are coming tomorrow if you enjoyed it if it helped hit the like button leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new thank you for watching i've been easy now and you guys have been awesome